Well, you can see I'm dismantling my um, dashboard. I'm going to take off this entire thing. See, I've already taken all the screws out. It's just screws along the top, and there's a couple bolts on the bottom that hold it. And then this faceplate, because I'm really tired of this brown-looking 80s crap. It just looks awful. So I'm just going to give it a facelift. starting to paint the side pieces. This one is completely done. This one just has its first coat. I went with white because it just looks clean. But I think I'm going to um, actually do the main part here in black just for dirt purposes. And this right here, which you saw over there, is going to be white because I won't be touching these that much. And also this um, face plate right here will be white. But the rest of it, I think I'm going to go with black. Just so that way, you know, if it does get dirty, you won't see it as bad. But if I did it solid white, then yeah, you'd probably see dirt. I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't got that far yet. So we'll see. Okay, it's finally out. <laughs> There was just a few more things that I wasn't aware of. The ducting for the air conditioning, I had to unscrew. There were screws back there. I mean, there was um, some more duct work I had to take out right there, but it wasn't that complicated. What's wrong, Moo Moo? What you doing? <laughs> are you chasing flies? You know, the flies here in Texas are awful. But, um, yeah, that was really easy. That was only four bolts. Uh, look at all the flies. They're just all over. <laughs> but yep, I've got those done. So these are my only two things I have to paint now. But I'm going to take some stuff off before I start painting. All right. Well, it's time to do... Oh, God, look at all the hair. <laughs> Jeez. Mimi, you're shedding everywhere. Look at you. <laughs> Keep your hair on your body, honey. The dramas of having a puppy. <laughs> yes, I know. Say hey, everyone. <laughs> um, I'm going to take these off and get them painted. Door one off. That was, it's pretty easy. It's just screws. Besides these, these are a little harder to get off. But, um, yeah, I'll show you how I got these off. This is the last door and my cab area will be done. Thank God. <laughs> There's actually a tool that you're supposed to get to pull these off. There's a little clip inside here on both of them, on these older cranks and stuff. Um, but I got a neat idea too that I saw. I'll show you. Alright, what you need to do is just take an old rag and flathead screwdriver and shove the rag in between the crank and the plastic grommet and then floss it back and forth to you hear that click that means you've popped the um the clip and ta-da there it is easy peasy right i'm gonna get the other one off well, this one was a little bit harder. Wanted to be a pain in the butt. But, see, here's the clips. that, And they go right here. And then they hold it to this. There's a little groove right here. The clips. Yep, so don't lose your clips if you plan on reusing these handles. But I believe I'm going to buy some new ones and upgrade since I'm going through the trouble of upgrading all the rest of the dashboard and panels. I'm also going to be replacing all the screws, even in the dash I did. I bought all new screws and hardware that way because these are old and rusted. 
mean, you know, they were putting in the eight in eighty nine, eighty eight, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be replacing all these. to tape it off and paint it. We lose hair all over it. <laughs> yep, I'm going to be removing this panel as well. It's not hard to remove. Just a few screws. But there are a few rust spots or rusted areas. They're not bad. It's just really light rust and I want to go ahead and address the issue. That way, since I have the door panel off, that way I don't have to worry about it getting any worse. And there it is. She's ready to be painted. And also, the back side's not painted, so I want to go ahead and paint that as well. See the little rust spots? I want to clean those up and go ahead and paint over that. And also, see, I want to clean around these crank areas. It's pretty disgusting. Ugh. I'm also going to be removing these trim pieces here. It's only four screws holding them on. There you go. That's one down. My cousin's fixing up his old Trans Am. Getting everything prepped. And I'm gonna go ahead. What are you doing, Moo Moo? <laughs> Crazy. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the first coat on it. Everything's on its last coat. Already put um, the only thing is this requires one more coat and those require one more coat and then it's done. I'm going to let it set for 24 hours and then put it all back in. What do you think, Moo Moo? Hmm? <laughs> this is not a very fun event for you, is it? You don't like painting. No. Besides redoing my dash and stuff, um... I'm also going to replace all my fuses with these Easy ID fuses. That way if um, it lights up when a fuse is blown and I don't have to pull it out, I can just see that it's blown because it'll be lit up. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And here's the new interior. Here's a better shot. I think it looks really good actually. A lot cleaner. And there's my GPS. I redid that so it's permanently right there. Okay. 